morning, YTPC. There's a little sun out this morning, so I thought I'd retreat back to my balcony. There's a new family just moved in to one of the houses here with a couple of children, so you'll hear them in the background. But it's nice to have uh, young families move into a neighbourhood, I think. <laughs> They're in a world of their own, just playing out there in the yard. Well, this is not too long a video. Um, one thing is, uh, my good friend John Panzer called me out to uh, address the five favourite tobaccos about uh, two hours after I produced one already for Lorry B. So I did promise him that I would do a sort of second round of favourite five. Um, so I've, uh, because I think everyone said it's really difficult to make these choices and there are several other tobaccos in each of those categories that you could easily also choose so this is my uh, second round of that have a look so this is just a real quick video for my good friend John Panzer who I did promise I would respond to his call out for five favorite tobaccos like the other one so this is uh, list two and I just do this real quick so if I had to choose another five in those categories, these would be fairly good choices. Just like last time, there's all kinds of other ones that one could, uh, one could also pull off the shelf. So All Day Smoke, Edward G. Robinson. It's a lovely tobacco, easy to smoke, um, you know, doesn't doesn't bite at all has a lovely taste i could easily smoke that all day uh, a codger blend that so many have already pointed to but they're interchangeable you know i could smoke carter hall all day and yes it's an excellent codger blend if only just slightly behind sir walter raleigh aromatic so could very easily live with uh, having Carter Hall. In fact, I bought probably one of the last tubs that you could buy because um, I, I thought that's one I just don't want to be without. Uh, as long as a tub will last, we'll see. As it gets rarer and rarer and harder, more, harder to buy, uh, of course, then these tobaccos start to go into these categories over here, either special occasion uh, or to impress friends because you've still got it. Anyway, the next one, the Friday smoke to chill out and think the world is in order. Um, this has been mentioned already by my good friend, uh, Jeffrey. Uh, Renaissance Piper, and this is of course Country Squire Tobac du Chocolat, which is probably the nicest chocolate tobacco that I've got in the cellar, and was very kind of uh, Jeffrey to give me that tobacco, and I, I love it. Um, I try to smoke it now and again to conserve it, but um, Certainly on, on a Friday when you've had a tough week, this is a, a lovely one to have. Then uh, to impress your friends, well, uh, the last one I did on the original list was of course Rich Dark Flake. And another one that will impress a, a number of YouTubers, I think, is uh, Revor Plug. And I actually got this from an English tobacconist and I've mentioned it to several people that he was prepared to export to me in Switzerland. I thought, great, finally I found one. 
who would give me all these English tobaccos and sent it to Switzerland, tried to reorder, and I saw he'd restricted his country list just to the UK. Uh, and I sent them an email and they said, yeah, I'm sorry, we, we, we've come across the same problems as everyone else with uh, uh, customs issues, with credit card processing, uh, for a number of different reasons, uh, that's not working. So I thought, God, where will I ever get this again? Now, hopefully when I visit the UK at the end of this year, if that's possible, then I can uh, get one or two more of these. There's a, a very good London tobacconist, Timaeus, in Whitehorse Road, not far from Green Park in London. So I've given you the secret now and you can order from them online and they have a huge web shop, tiny, tiny little shop, but you can ask them to deposit it there. And if you know you're going to visit London, you can just go along and pick it up. So uh, that's the secret to a lot of these um, wonderful English tobaccos that are otherwise hard to get. And the last category, of course, is a uh, special occasion. So that's going to be usually the Ausgestorbene uh, or the, um, the the tobaccos you just can't get anymore, you know. So this McClelland Navy Cavendish is a beautiful tobacco, uh, a flake, and I just love that. Uh, and I've got a few tins. I still know a place where I can get it not far from Zurich, but one day you'll run out, of course, that'll be it. So it's something like that, or still possible to get, but very, very difficult to get is, of course, Esoterica Pembroke. I like the Pembroke a little bit more than Margate, but they're basically the same, and this one has cognac uh, added to it. Um, but for me, it's, it's slightly more my taste. And that would be a tin I would crack open on a special occasion. So that's uh, favourite five number two list. Just, just for John Panzer. See, John, you know, I, I do these special things just for you, old mate. <laughs> My personal view, one reason to actually have a big seller is that you can do that you've got lots of different favorites or uh, depending on your mood or the time and um, I do like to have uh, a change you know I think I could take any one of my very favorites and if I had to smoke it all day every day at some point you would um, you would just be very tired of it I think Matches said that um, in his uh, many years he had the same vanilla burley and then he realized it's interesting to to try some other ones you know it doesn't mean you, you don't go back to that original first love I will always go back to Sir Walter Raleigh aromatic because it, it said to me you are an aromatic guy that's what you love and like and I'll always have a soft spot for that one even if I find new ones that I think are as good or better. Didn't find very many so far that I thought were as good or better, but um, that just shows how good it is. <laughs> well, the other thing uh, this morning is, um, I, as you know, did some Christmas tobacco reviews and one of the tins ar arrived um, a bit late because I ordered it late but of course it didn't beat the Christmas rush and arrived about 10 days ago from a German tobacco house called um, Falcon, Magnus Falcon. I'll leave a link in the bucket if you want to have a look because I think they've still got some of this and they do their own uh, blends and this is one of their Christmas tobaccos. Now I know Christmas is behind us but I just had to try it out and share it with you. Uh, probably will try and f more fully review it in the Christmas of uh, 
2021 but um, that's what I'm smoking right now they're based in Miltenberg in Germany this is a basically a, a burly black Cavendish Virginia's um, mixture they mentioned something under the leaf types called gold giver gold giver I don't know what that means that must be a type of Virginia I suppose but the uh, the topping is basically vanilla orange and cinnamon very suited to a winter tobacco or a Christmas tobacco I think a lot of um, Christmas tobaccos you can actually smoke as a winter tobacco why not they come in a hundred gram tin so it's a shame to sort of seal it up and put it away um, I would have to jar this because it's just got a cellophane packing beautiful mix of tobacco and it's got flake in there as well and I must say this is quite exquisite somebody mentioned that as all these tobacco brands do they may actually let someone else make it for them and I think somebody mentioned they thought Planter makes this one I don't know in the end but it's uh, Planter I found sometimes has a harsh edge on its tobaccos which means it's maybe not always the highest quality I never find that with uh, uh, Kohlhaas and Kopp as an example or Peter Heinrich um, so I, I'm not so sure that this is from Planter I could believe it's from Kohlhaas and Kopp because it's an excellent Christmas tobacco it would have been on the table of offering um, and this uh, bourbon orange cinnamon is absolutely there but again it's very beautifully done that the tobaccos are there as well you've got the nut from the burley you've got some sweetness uh, coming out from the uh, from the uh, Virginias and it's uh, it's a beautiful tobacco I must say I'm very impressed with it it's kind of nice to have sunshine isn't it don't you think uh, I can understand that you know tough times around everyone and depressing enough but if you don't have the sun and just sunshine you know it, it's some ancient process when our eyes see it and say oh sunshine good you know I know it generates vitamin D in the skin and vitamin D is also important for your psychological health it's all connected somehow but it's just very pleasant and of course on the snow laden landscape we had a bit of a thaw the last couple of days but still a fair amount of snow out there it's very pretty and um, nice to go for walks it's maybe only about three or four degrees plus today so um, not so bitter cold there's not much wind so it's a good day for a walk my pipe today is a Savinelli 320 Eleganza beautiful with this nice spigot here and it's a smooth I've got probably more rustic than smooths but um, I rather like the look of this one bit of a fat bowl but I've learned that uh, that may not look as elegant as a prince but it has a big advantage to having a thick wood bowl in terms of that's the toast lady uh, in terms of making the heat manageable you know depending on what you're smoking this is not burning very very hot at all I think there are differences there aren't there with 
gold Virginia and um, the lighter colored or almost yellow colored Virginias that may be the gold gaber leaf that they mentioned I'm gonna to have to look that up um, that they are less rich in in sugar and don't burn as hot so black Cavendish was a, a lesser component I think the the burley is probably almost equal to Virginia's but part of the Virginia was this gold gaber and I think that uh, makes it not too hot to smoke it's probably a tobacco that's best known of course in, in Germany and uh, some of my German pipe smoker friends out there might have a bit more knowledge to share about that if you do put it in, in the buckets all the videos now are um, uh, with captions in English and German so that should make it easier for us to share with each other what we're talking about Drinking a bit of iced tea. I've become something of an expert in uh, quick cocktails because you just take one of these sweet iced tea, zero, no sugar um, drinks, put it in a cocktail glass with an ice cube, and put some Bombay gin in there, and you're off. It's actually a pretty decent cocktail right there, you know, <laughs> which is what my wife and I enjoyed yesterday evening. No gin in this one, too early in the day for me. Right, well that's this video. Won't make it too long. Thanks everyone for, for looking in. If you're enjoying the content of the channel and the videos, always appreciate the thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, why not join the team? Take care everyone, look after yourselves out there. Till the next video. Bye bye.